I visited Cuba for the first time in March of 2015. Upon visiting, I was asked to perform at a local church. Seemed easy until we learned quickly how hard it was to find supplies. So it got me thinking, if it was that hard for me to find supplies, how hard is it for other local artists to do the same? After meeting with some local artists, I made a commitment to them that I would return with supplies they need and more. I put the word out to my friends, family, and fans, and they responded with a ton of support. So we packed up the donated supplies, and in January of 2016, we came back to Cuba. This was not a tourist trip. This was a mission. The mission to use creativity to inspire the hearts and minds of people. And to multiply the amount of creators in this world by giving them the tools and the inspiration to create. This is Creator X Project. First stop, Cuba. Good morning, it's day one here in Cuba. We've got a long, fun day, fun week ahead. And uh, it's gonna be very creative, very colorful. And it's, it, I'm excited to be back. Uh, the first time I was very nervous, very scared, but this time I'm a little nervous, but uh, it feels a little bit more comfortable. And uh, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to creating with the people here and uh, not just inspiring them, but being inspired by them. So come along on this trip, day one, let's get it started. This is the, the Cuban silver fox. Yes. Yeah. just left uh, a church that we visited this morning. Not only did we uh, get to share our stories, we also had the opportunity to give them books, uh, Bibles, most of them their first Bibles they've, they've had ever. And uh, it's a blessing to be able to do this, to be here to, uh, you know, to give them life, whether it's through stories or through the Bible or through books. And to also learn from them, learn more about them. So anyways, we've got a long day ahead. We're gonna keep going. I could describe this feeling is I've never skydived before but it's kind of like that you have a parachute strapped to your back you jump out of the plane you're just free falling and as you fall at some point you know you have to pull that chute but until then you're free
paint, I look around and I see the people. And I want them to feel the same way. I want them to feel free. Freedom in their expression. Freedom in their creativity. And if today we can spark that, that's my only goal, is to just spark some creativity and just spark some freedom. event today but before we even talk about that I just want to explain what's in my hand this is not a cup of coffee so if you see me talking to you and sipping it you should cringe because it's a cup full of paint so you know we, we did bring some art supplies with us and it's because there's it's really hard to find paint so the place that we're staying at uh, I, I was looking around I saw they had white paint on the walls Amazing. I figured maybe they have extra paint so we asked uh, the, the, the nice people there and they uh, they found us some paint so we poured it in this little cup and uh, this is the paint that I'm gonna use for the first performance today so I'm in the car I hope I don't spill I will not spill it right not I will not, not spill it I, will I have <laughs> all confidence that David Garibaldi will not spill that paint Thank he only you. spills paint in its time <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Uh, so, come along for day two here in Cuba. Today, Havana. Let's go.
after that emotional experience, it was time to go do what we came to do. That was to meet the artists, to get them the tools they need to create. Boys. It's okay. I just kept saying to myself inside, like, wow, we actually did it. We did this. The people who supported me, the people who made that call of action when we asked for donations of supplies, we did it. We made this happen. We got these here. We had a moment to have a roundtable discussion with the artists about what's working in Cuba, what's not. And how can we help? And then, and then, the best moment of the whole trip. Sharing these art supplies and sharing these tools to create. As great as that felt, it was about to get even better. spent the next three hours painting this collaborative piece inspired by what's happening in the art world there in Cuba. But that moment, just one of those moments you wish you could just pause in time, just freeze for as long as you can. But the day wasn't over. We had one more stop. We're wrapping up day two here in Cuba. We're in a city about uh, an hour outside of Havana. It's a very small city, but um, we just had a great time just just um, sharing with this with a really local church here. And uh, we gave them out books, Bibles, and did a performance for them as well. Anyways, I had a great time, but uh, we're gonna head back to Havana and hopefully get some sleep. And this is the end of day two. I'm Garibaldi. This is Art Life Cuba. Thank you.